Hey everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can format numbers that are currencies based on the user's locale. So let's say you have a number, let's say 2500.5 and then you want to format this number in euro based on the user's currency. So first let's start by creating the options and I'm going to say that the style is going to be a currency and the specific currency that I'm going to use is going to be euro. You can do USD over here or any other currency. And then I can take this number and just because it's a number not a variable I have to wrap it in parentheses and then I can call on it to locale string. And in this to locale string you can define the locale for example en-us so that's English in the United States. And then I pass in the options into it. And this is going to format how you would write 2500.50 euros in the US for English speaking people. Now let's save that into a number. So now I can just call number .2 locale strings immediately. And then in the Netherlands for Dutch speaking people, you would write it like this. Notice the euro sign is at the beginning. There's a space and then dot is used for thousand delimiter and then comma is used for decimal delimiter. You can take a look at other locales like in Germany. It's written in a completely different way. Same for France. And that's a nice thing you can get out of this function because it just takes care of everything for you. You just provide the locale. And also note that this depends on the language. So this is in the Netherlands for Dutch speaking people. And if you do en nl so English speaking people living in the Netherlands, and then you would get a different format. And that's kind of nice that it takes care of all of these for you. Now, the most important question would be, how do I format it based on the user's locale? So you don't really know the user's locale. Well, for that, you simply skip the user's locale and this locale argument will be undefined. And this is gonna take my locale, which is actually en nl so I have it set to the Netherlands, but the language is English. So assuming you're gonna use all of this in your website, I would start by creating a method getPrice, which takes the price and then create the options, which are going to be again, style is currency, and then the currency, if it's fixed, then this is gonna be, let's say, Euro. If not, then you can also accept the currency as an argument over here. And then other than the options, we're just gonna return the price dot to locale string and then we're going to pass undefined as the locale because we want to use the user's locale and then we pass in the options over here and now you could call get price of any number and it's going to format it for you based on the user's locale that's all for this quick tip and if you want to learn javascript and learn about all the advanced and new concepts then head over to learn javascript online and this is where you're going to find a step-by-step -step course where you can learn a lot of advanced topics such as promises how to work with apis best practices for the dom and you'll also get a flashcards app where you can practice your flashcards over there so give it a try i'm sure you're gonna love it thank you and i'll see you soon